My name is Annalisa Escobar and I'm the White House Liaison here at HUD. Recruiting the political leadership for, to, the, to work at the agency during this administration. Um, and so with that, you know, I, I think that uh, some of the guiding principles of that is, is definitely building a team that looks like America. And so we very much made that a part of, of our, our mission and in, in the work that I do as a White House liaison here is bringing in talented uh, individuals, a diverse group of people that um, can really come together and, and work toward implementing and, and uh, the solutions that you know our administration feels like is the right, the right steps for the American people. My grandparents were all born in the United States, and so when you say what country are my parents from, it's, it's America. Um, but, you know, with that, I, I think that my experience is, is very unique as an American in that I also uh, feel a strong tie to Mexico, which is where my great-grandparents were from and, you know, their parents before them. But when I talk about where, where I'm from, even if it's not a country, I think it's certainly um, almost like a, a state of mind, but also a, just a, a subset of America that not everybody always knows about. So I love to talk about where I'm from. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, uh, born and raised. Um, I, more, if, if I get more specific, um, I'm from the west side of San Antonio, which um, San Antonio is one of those cities that's um, kind of historically been geographically se segregated. So my parents grew up on the west side, my grandparents grew up on the west side, and I, I feel a strong sense of um, strong ties to the west side. There's there's something about the pride from being from there. There's something to say about the culture and, and kind of the surroundings that you see, the murals, the artwork, the, the colors, the food, um, and, and just the overall swagger of being from the west side of San Antonio. It's, it's a really unique place. Favorite childhood dish would have to be uh, bean and cheese tacos. <laughs> Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're from Texas, especially from South Texas, you know what a breakfast taco is, but most people don't know. Um, you know, if you go to California, say, breakfast burritos are popular. If you um, are from other parts of the country, just, you know, your, your traditional Americanized breakfast food is really popular. But in San Antonio, it's all about breakfast tacos. Um, and what that is, is uh, different breakfast items kind of scrambled together, thrown into a flour tortilla, um, and consumed with a lot of love and, and happiness. I have always been ingrained with that um, mentality of service to the country. Um, you know, even though that they, they were American citizens, you know, my, I, I remember stories about my grandfather needing to pay poll taxes to vote. Um, and so I, I recognize the, the long journey it's taken to get here, have all of those experiences in my life, to go to school, to get my degree and my master's degree, um, and then to come here and serve my country. It's just a, an honor and privilege that I know not everybody is afforded, but I know that it's because of the hard work of, and from where we've come from. Very proud of the work that our team has done on PAVE. That's the Property Appraisal Valuation Equity Task Force uh, program. Very proud of that work because we have found is that people of color, their homes tend to be appraised at a lesser amount than those of our white counterparts. And this is an issue that we're trying to address and help solve. Uh, because, you know, the moment you evaluate somebody's home who's a person of color at a much less amount, the harder it is for them to continue to build their wealth and then grow it generationally. I'm also really proud of the work that our team's been doing recently on asset building. And that's really important and critical because you know, folks um, need a little help build in building their credit. And so um, our team has been doing a lot of great work toward helping ensure that payments that they are making towards their rent are helping them earn better credit so then they can later on purchase a home. One other uh, program that I am more familiar with that's been around for a while are just the, our FHA loans um, and mortgages. About 12 years ago, obtained uh, an FHA loan to purchase my first home. And I think that without the benefits of an FHA loan, without some of those um, kind of, without the, the elements of the program that really help target somebody like me, uh, a, a young Latina, single, ha head of household, 
um, you know, not too fresh out of, not too far out of college, um, with not a ton of assets to my name or, or even a ton of income to my name, I was able to get a home and, and earn, um, accomplish that, that vision and dream for myself. And without HUD and our programs, without FHA mortgages, I would never have been able to do that.